Brick Blogateers Will here, and we're looking at set 76112, the App Controlled Batmobile. This isn't a Batmobile. This is definitely not one. A, a Batmobile is a car, not a tank. Not a heavily armored, weird, squatty looking tank. This is closer to a tumbler, if I have to be honest, and it doesn't even look like that. So, as I mentioned in the review, I call this the Bat Stunt Tank. And uh, people were uh, very down on it, and rightly so, because they were, well, expecting a Batmobile. Um, and they also didn't care for the price, considering the price point uh, in the pieces. Uh, the thing is, this is the new powered up... Uh, Power Functions, which is essentially Power Functions 2.0. Uh, it uses the new system. We can actually see on the back side here how the motors actually connect into this whole battery box, which also doubles as a Bluetooth receiver. So because it's a Bluetooth receiver, and you can even see it light up when you... There, it's... It's pricey. Uh, it's the same size as a AAA battery box. You also get two motors, which are located here and here. And these are kind of like servo motors in the old series. Um, they're very responsive. Uh, there's actually two very distinct setups in how you can actually operate this thing. Because one side connects these wheels, the other one connects the other set of wheels, which gives you that very quick turning radius. Um, one of the control scheme setups is more or less just like a standard remote control thing, while the other one is sliders, so you can actually make this thing go really slow or very, very precise. So that's where you get a lot of the cost in the set. Uh, it has one of the best looking Batman in the LEGO lineup with his uh, kind of pearl silver helmet and uh, detailing. It's a very serious Batman. Um, it's funny, the um, controls for the phone actually have what sounds like Lego Batman uh, making sound effects for some pre-programmed uh, motion. And that's one of the benefits of the Powered Up feature is that you can actually pre-program set movements and just hit a button and it performs it. Now the sad thing is uh, the instructions do mention if there's a lot of electromagnetic interference you might have problems controlling the system and I have heard from uh, model railroaders who use it for like the new versions of the train that use the 2.0 or sorry powered up system they've been at shows and they've had trouble controlling the thing so it's more for a personal use, but it is highly detailed. Um, the other thing that caught me off guard is right in front of the instructions, they say, make sure to use the same brand of battery from the same pack, all brand new, all at once. I figured, oh, they're batteries. I'll just throw them in there. So I did three of one brand and three from another brand. The thing powered on just fine. It seemed to be updating. It was, it was going well, and then we got to trying to control it, it didn't move. And we were freaking out because, I mean, once it gets to a certain level of electronics, we're pretty much helpless. So my wife said, hey, do you think they were serious about those batteries? And I figured, well, it couldn't hurt, so I changed them out. Sure enough, turned it on, it started moving. So be very sure that if you do get something like this, or even the remote control stunt car, or pretty much anything that uses the new Powered Up, make sure to listen to them when they say use all the same batteries. Because that will be the difference between it running and it not. Um, Part-wise, I broke down how the battery pack and the motors come out and you end up with about $30 of rest of parts. That is what's here. Uh, the other nice thing is you do get these new bat pieces, like in the front or on the sides or even in the back. 
and you get some extras of these uh, pieces, which are coming out uh, in the anniversary sets later this year. Uh, so that's probably the most unique type of parts in here, aside from the powered up functions. Uh, so there is value in it. It's just, if you're angry that it's not a Batmobile, there's really nothing for it. I like it. It's cute. Um, and I've seen it go on sale for pretty, pretty deep prices. So it's still worth picking up, especially if you can capitalize on all the people not buying it.